Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca. Today we are going to be deep cleaning around the house. So something a little bit different than our normal Thursday or Sunday resets. We are going to be tackling all of the areas that I have been neglecting, i.e. the ceiling fans, the air conditioning vents, and you can see they're super dirty. <laughs> and then we're just going to tackle anything honestly that just came to my mind during this hour or so that I had right before dinner. So I'm going to go ahead and get started cleaning up the ceiling fans. Anything that I'm cleaning with is probably either going to be dish soap, vinegar, or baking soda. So Grab something that you need to get done, get it done with me. I hope that this motivates you to tackle some of those grimy areas that you just tend to avoid because you know that they're super dusty, like my ceiling fans, or places that you just don't think about cleaning that often. Let everything else go and tackle that this weekend. absolutely in love with coffee. Anytime I'm filming, I'm definitely drinking a cup of coffee, especially iced coffee now that it's getting super warm outside. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and open the window. Anytime that I love using Barkeeper's Friend, I definitely need to ventilate the room. It has a really strong pungent smell. It's not my absolute favorite cleaner, but it does an amazing job in my stainless steel sinks. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then whatever's left over on the brush, I'll just take that into the kids' bathroom and give it a little bit of a shine. I love using this on the sink. I feel like the sink comes out so much more polished versus if I'm using something like vinegar and just baking soda. And we could have some, have some fun. No problems coming in our way. I would like you just the way you are. And you would like me just the way. to the kids bathroom the kids bathroom is the hall bathroom and it just gets so much more use and i feel like the sink was just looking a little grimy so i did go ahead and scrub it out i use toothbrushes all the time when i'm cleaning especially if i'm deep cleaning something like today I scrub the drains here in the bathroom and in the bathtub i do toss them out after i use them super inexpensive i mention this all the time on my channel i absolutely love dollar tree so pick up a pack of toothbrushes you can get like four for a dollar they are amazing to clean the small tiny spaces especially in your kitchen and or bathrooms Strange for a while But I want 
So when you are deep cleaning the spaces, especially your drain, always snake your drain. Again, you can pick them up like a snake drain at Dollar Tree. You can pick them up anywhere. Super inexpensive. Don't forget to do that so that you're not clogging your drains. Try to scrub as much as you can. I also like to do this in the sink, but I had done that a few weeks ago, so I'm pretty sure it doesn't need to be done this time that I'm cleaning, but I'm sure it will be done next time. This duck, you guys, we've had this duck since my son was, my first son was born and it just kind of lives in the tub. So he always gets a bath every time I scrub the tub as well. Between washes, I do actually like to sprinkle the sofa with baking soda. It's a really great deodorizer. We do keep a sofa cover on it just because hashtag we have toddlers and we have kids. The sofa is white. It's one of those things that we just purchased as we did not think about before we had children, but here we are. So I let it sit for about 20, 30 minutes. If I have the time, I'll let it sit for a few hours, but that just was not the day. So you guys are going to see me do one pass through with the vacuum. I like to vacuum in multiple directions, go slow. Of course, this is sped up. My vacuum died, so I did actually have to go over the sofa again. Try to go over it as many times as you can, as slow as you can, to get as much of the product out of the sofa. You can do this on your carpets, you can do this on your mattress, you can do this basically on any piece of furniture. Just let it sit for a while. I do it pretty often, so I don't have to let it sit for a few hours, but you guys, it sucks up in the vacuum just fine so i'm gonna go ahead and finish doing that and then i will vacuum out the bottom of the sofa and the bottom of the cushions and again this is something that i like to do in between washes just because these soak cushions are so large so we are moving on while we wait for the vacuum to charge to these window tracks desperate need of some attention i like to sprinkle baking soda in here again it kind of helps get all of that clumpy dirt out I don't know the best tool to use in the corner. I'm actually looking at purchasing a steamer because I, for the life of me, cannot get the dirt out in the corner. So we're just going to move on, wipe out what we can, and then that will be it for today. here's my little guy they were so intrigued as to what mommy was doing and they are always right next to me hanging out asking me what i'm doing or what i'm cleaning or if they can help so i hope this again motivated you to tackle something that we tend to probably write on our to-do list for about a month and then avoid because we know they are the tedious tasks, but then it feels so great when you do actually finish them. I hope you guys have a wonderful start to your week. I will see you on Sunday for our Sunday reset. Don't forget that you're doing amazing. And I thought it was so cool. My little guys built this thing out of Jenga blocks and they are their favorite building blocks at the moment. So I will see you guys in the next one. Covered, was gonna patch up all the scars